Welcome to Dominican Nuns Monastery of the Blessed Sacrament. I'm Sister Mary Edith Opi. I wish to introduce you to our monastery farm. Um, in our farm, we have some range of products. We have the fishery, mostly the catfish and the tilapia. We have uh, chicken, that's the poultry, broiler, layers, and we produce eggs. We have the pigry, we have the piglets, I have the big pigs for sale. We have um, a plantation farm, vegetable, we have dogs um, of almost four different species. And we are expecting some of the litrins so that we can sell them. And we have fruits. We have beautiful things in the farm. From the farm, we eat some of these products, and from there, we sell to keep our life going. I'll be glad to have you visit our farm. It's really a beautiful place. Thank you. When you come, you enjoy it. They are very interesting animals. They are not wild. If you could see that I could touch some of them and I used to call them names. They have different names. They are funny names though. They are human names we give them, but they have already known their names. So when you call them that way and touch them, they are very friendly. And once they know you're friendly, they will respond to it. So but they also respond to danger. If they see something strange, you see them screaming to know that something strange has come in. That's why we always come around when we hear um, kind of sound that is so strange. But if normally this is the way you find them and they're doing very well. The plantation is this side. I want to I want to check if the place is open. So we are not going to the plantation farm. Let me okay, so see this. While moving to the plantation, you can see the plantation is somehow bushy because during the rain season, this place is filled with floods. You can't do anything, but with this dry season, now we have just spread chemicals. You can notice that the grass is dying. So this time, everyone will be clear and our plantation will be free. We have done a lot of harvest and there is a shop banana. The last one they we call it the Yoruba banana. So if you go to different sections of the plantain plantation, you see them. What you see here that is yeah. bushy is this is turmeric. Oh, the famous turmeric. Yes. Can you say about the turmeric plant? The turmeric is very good, and when we harvest the turmeric, we dry it. You can use. You can even eat it raw. It can use for so many things. It's mostly a detoxifier. So that's why you see that it is advertised in so many conditions, health conditions, but uh, in summary, it's a detoxifier. So it's take away waste from the system and somehow bring down fat in the system. So when you take it natural like this, it's so healthy. Sister is trying to uproot something. Sister, what are you uprooting? Yeah. I'm uprooting ginger. This is another species of ginger. This highly medicinal. Mm -hmm. This is another species, highly medicinal. Mm -hmm. Because you can see the bee this side. Turn around, be careful because at your back you can see. That's it. Oh, so, so this, see, is the... this is B. Can you see B there? Can you see what I say B? Okay. I don't want to go to closer to some of the buses because they might be in there. You can see them flying there. That's what we call B. So when you have, uh, like now, the mangoes are just start coming out. When you have the mangoes, many on the tree and they are ripe, the bees, they feed on it. So you see that the bee buses will be filled up. This is just a little about the section of our bee bus. We have the main family, we have our bee bus system where the bees are. We are moving to the snake farm. 